talked about this morning uh, with the, uh, the leadership, the importance of business leadership and economic development. And certainly groups like MEC that represent the business leaders from around the state, they're a key partner in this process. Uh, public sector economic development does not work by itself, neither does private sector by itself, but it's these public-private partnerships that work together. So when you have an audience like MEC and the business leadership from around the state, the legislators here, uh, that is a good time to just to thank them for that effort. Okay, and uh, looking back over the, some of the lessons that you've learned here, the things that you'll be taking to Florida, can you talk some about that? Well, I think the key to economic development is having structure. And one of the things that you can do is, you know, you can have good business policy, uh, you can have a good sales team, but if you cannot deliver on what you promised, if you can't deliver things on time, on budget, when companies today are looking for speed to the market, uh, then you will not be successful. And I'm proud of the structure that we put together. The Mississippi Development Authority, the professionals that work there, uh, we can compete. We do compete. Uh, they're, they're, they're some of the hardest working people that you'll ever be around. I'm proud of that fact. I'm proud of the structure that we put in place that will continue to be in place. Uh, I look at the things and uh, the lessons learned from there, you know, such things as how do you, you, know, how do, you do first impressions. Uh, when people come to Mississippi for whatever reason, they may have a different perception. They may have no perception of, of our state. So it's real important that we get off to the right foot. We, we set a, a, a tone from the very first meeting that, hey, you can do business here. It is a good place. We're a bunch of professionals here uh, and that you can attract talent to the state. Any advice to give to tutorial candidates, folks that are rationing up their campaign? Uh, you know, they, they, they've got so many people giving them advice, I don't need to. Okay, and, and looking back, what's your most proudest achievement? Uh, at MDA? You know, I, I, again, I can't single out a single project. I think that there's just so, uh, different things at different times. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of the fact of how our agency responded to Katrina managing $5.4 billion in our disaster recovery team. You know, they, they did so with no, 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 no blueprint, nothing to look at, uh, building programs on the fly. And we, we did so, we got money out, we delivered it to the needy, uh, needed homeowners, and we did so with, uh, you know, without fraud, you know, one tenth, less than one tenth of one percent uh, of fraud in the entire 5.4 billion. That says a lot about our people. I'm also proud of the people that are on our team that have gone out in the communities, uh, that have worked with communities to elevate their game, to be uh, better at, at competing for jobs and retaining jobs. I'm proud of that fact. And then certainly there are projects that, you know, I'm proud of, proud of the work that we've done in the automotive sector. I'm proud of the work that we've done in the aerospace sector. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of those things and the linkage that we have with our universities. So there's no one single project. I think it's a comprehensive thing and you can't point to one thing.